Hi everyone, today I'd like to share my student's actual game. He is a Fox 5 Dan. If you are a Dan player, you can feel that it is harder to become stronger than before, of course. I think this is because for Dan players, it is more important to broaden your horizons than to improve your partial skills. To broaden your horizons, I recommend you to play away. I recommend you to practice playing away. Try to tenuki if it is possible. If you respond right away to where your opponent just played, it is easy for you to follow your opponent and go to somewhere you don't know. You know what I'm saying, right? But if you do tenuki, you can break the flow and you can have your pace. This is very important. All right, let's get started. My student, he is black. His opening is quite good. At the moment, he attached here, but this kind of move is, it seems like a bit rushed move. So I recommend in this case black to play away. If black starts from this side, you see it is very in a hurry, you know, and we don't know where we should stop. So this kind of move is not safe in my opinion. So I recommend you to play like this a bit more slowly, you know. You don't have to be in a hurry. This is the actual game. Black pushed and exchanged this. White answered here, but it was wrong. Of course, white should have played here. This is so basic, but white missed this part. Since white played here, now black can cut Either way, both are possible. If black plays here, either way, white will capture the cut stone. If black plays here, then now this is sente, right? White has to answer like this, then now that here is black stone, AI says black can start a fight from this side. You see now black is able to cook these three groups. One, two, three. Black can cook, right? If white answers from this direction, of course this is very good for black. This is sente. If the black stone is here, now black got so much benefit on this side. Black can cut from this side also. If white captures, then this is sente, as you see. Then black can play like this. Yeah, this is a very difficult game because this is a framework game. We have to count all the time. We have to count so many times. Remember, in this kind of shape, black can play here or here as a proof move. In the actual game, black tenokid, but this move was very nice. Black played away, it was nice. Now black answered. I'm talking about this kind of move. Black answered right away to the place where white played just before, but in this case, black can think about playing away, you know? For example, black can play this side or black can ask here and after this black can jump or black can pincer from this side. You can check if you are following your opponent just habitually. You can cut the flow and you can take the control the board. This is the actual game. White played here and black pincered. My student asked me about this move and this move. I can say this and this 
These are very good. You don't have to worry about this kind of move because you are strong enough about this kind of move in the beginning. Now the most important thing for my student is not this kind of move. You have to think differently. Okay, that is much more important. These were quite okay. White pushed and black connected. Yeah, this was very good for black. Now black entered from the corner, but usually in this case, when white attaches underneath the start point, 9 out of 10 entering from outside is better. Let white live inside. It is not that big, you see. Yeah, you can get the outside. This is more valuable. White should cut here, I think. Then black can answer like this. Yeah, playing from the outside looks better. But black answered from the corner. Now a very difficult fight started. White blocked, but it was white's mistake. White should have cut from this side. Yeah, black can squeeze and connect. These six stones are captured, but white can make good use of these stones from outside. This would have been much better for white. White should have played like this. In the actual game, white just gave up these three stones, but it was a big loss of white, you see? So black got a big chance. Black played very well. This was just perfect, you know? And finally, the upper group. This is not Sente. So white group is in danger. Now is the time that I should talk about the first tip. Try to tenuki. Try not to follow your opponent. In the actual game, black played Hane, but when your opponent attached to your stone, try not to play Hane. Of course, in the beginning, when we play a Joseki, when our opponent attaches, then we should answer. We should play Hane. But when we are fighting or when I'm attacking my opponent's group. At the moment, if my opponent attaches, then try not to answer. For example, in this case, rather than playing here, this would have been much better. You see, this is not a move that following white's intention. If white connects, then black can cover from this side. There is no problem, you see? Black can capture this group very easily. So that's why I told you it is very important not to follow your opponent. We have to think one step behind, you see? Then we can see the whole board and we can see more things, you know? In the same way, when our opponent tries to save his group and we are attacking at the moment when my opponent attaches. In many cases, answering like this could be a very good move. Because as you see, like in the actual game, if we play Hane, we can help the opponent, you see? So you should be careful. In this case, try not to follow your opponent. You should think about this or this kind of move. Of course, if white plays like this, then probably black cannot capture this group, right? Then this is the time for thinking about the number two I wrote down here. That is, try not to capture and just try to stay in a good shape. For example, if the sequence goes like this, yeah, black can let white group survive. Then black can reinforce this group 
and then play away like this. Now black captured these two stones and these six stones. This territory is very big and black is ahead quite a lot. Don't try to attack your opponent like this with ugly move. Yeah. Your stones would be captured conversely. Be careful. So don't think about this dangerous sequence. Just let your opponent survive and stay in a very good shape. You see? Yeah. You have to practice playing like this. You have to practice thinking like this. You know what I mean? Yeah, this is very important, especially for Dan players, you know? Even at this moment, you could have thought like, oh, now I got a very good chance. I think I can capture this group. But you see, capturing the opponent's stone is not easy, you know? And in many cases, we come across an unexpected situation. When you figured out that the sequence doesn't go well, then you should give up fast. And you should change your thinking quickly. This is the actual game. Now Black is trying to capture this group, but Black should be ready to change his strategy, you see? Now Black connected, but Black could have played here. If I place Honey, this looks like a call, but that's not true. Of course, Black can start a call, but Black doesn't have to play like this. Black can just step back and there is this move, you see? After this, Black can cut here, then this group is all captured. This is not a call, but it is not easy to read all this. I agree. Black connected and Black just connected underneath. Yeah, this is the same. Black could have cut here and play Atari from this side. Yeah, this is dead. This is captured. But this is still okay. Black is quite ahead. But now you can feel that Black is going somewhere he doesn't know. Somewhere he didn't expect, right? Then this is the right timing that we should think differently. Now black should give up this group. Yeah, this is this kind of uh, changing thinking is much more safe, you know, when we play the game. If we don't give up this group and we keep trying to capture this group, it could be very dangerous, you know. Now black played here, but with this move, I think this is the right timing to give up this group. So black could have played like this. White can save this group with this sequence. Maybe white can exchange this and live with this move. Then black can capture these two stones. Then black is still ahead. Of course, this is very disappointing for black. But this is the point that I want to talk about today. Try not to capture. Try to give up quickly, okay? After this, black reinforces it here and white managed to save this group. Black jumped, but for now, this would have been better because this group is not perfect. So black should take care of this group, then covering from this side would have been much better. Black jumped here and white tried to save these two stones and started a new fight. After this, black covered here. Now another fight has started. Yeah, white played Atari from this side and in the actual game, black saved this one stone and pushed here. But at this moment, this is the time for think about my tip number two and three. Try not to capture the opponent's group. Stay in a good shape instead. In this case, Black could have played like this. 
Yeah, this is exactly number two and three, right? If black plays like this, black is quite ahead, you know? Actually, this is sentence, so black can cut from this side. So after this, black got stones over here, so this part got much stronger. You see, so black can attack conversely. So black could have played like this. And now this group, white group is not alive yet perfectly. So if the sequence goes like this, black is ahead quite a lot. Of course, it would be very difficult to think like this because black covered here to capture this group, right? But as you see, now you can feel that if black plays like this, it is not certain, you know? So in this case, playing like this is a bit dangerous. So that's why I recommend this kind of changing strategy. Yeah, try to um, think like this, okay? This is the actual game. Now white played here, but it was white's big mistake. White should have played here. It would have been much better, but white played here. So now black got a very big chance. After this, black started a call. It was very good. You see? My student, black player, he's very strong. So if he tries to change his uh, thinking, I mean, if he starts thinking differently, he could be much stronger. After this, black came back here and there are so many contrasts for black. Yeah, the corner was also big, but black didn't play the upper left corner, but it was very big. Yeah. Because later this there is this cut. Yeah, this is a disaster for white. So if black had played here, black would have won this game easily. Black ten of kid, but you see, this panuki was so big, but still black is ahead. But the problem was at the moment black played here. It is another rushed move, you see. It seems like black is a bit uh, excited, you know. Black is not calm. So this kind of move is dangerous. Actually, there was this weakness, you know? If white cuts and captures, then this is sentence. So if black had played like this, then it would have been much better, you see? Yeah. This part is totally broken. So now black is still ahead quite a lot. You see, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, more than 75 points for black, but for white, 10, 20, 30, 40, 55. Yeah. I think black is ahead more than uh, 10 points. How do you think? My counting was too fast, but I think black is ahead for sure. This was such a bad exchange. Now the game became so close. Now I played here but black connected. What did I say? Don't follow your opponent. This is the time for punish our opponent. If black plays like this, this one stone, I think this is captured, right? This is a net. But black answered and you see, this was like a chaos, you know? <laughs> yeah, this was not good, you know? Empty triangle is of course not good. And you, black didn't have to play like this. Black could have played here. Yeah, this, is, this would have been much better because later, 
there is this cut, you know. Black can save these two stones like this, and then black can do many things over here. Yeah, I think there is this move. Yeah. So, anyway, it was not good. Even now, black answered here, but black should do tenuki. Dear my student, try to tenuki. Okay. Actually, these two stones are not that important because even black plays away, black can save the corner, right? So, if black had played here, then I think black is ahead. Black connected here, and now was the last chance for black. Of course, black could have played away. Now, if I cannot save the lower side, then it would be a disaster for white. But black answered, and white played here, and after this, white captured these two stones. And at the moment, black resigned. You see, there are so many times black could have tenuked, you see? From the beginning, with this move, and 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 this move. It is very surprising, right? There are so many times black could have tenuked. And remember that you don't have to capture your opponent's stones. If the sequence is not going well, you should think about changing your thinking, changing your strategy. Remember, you are good enough. Okay, thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Bye!